Just Paul McKenna for PT Boxing down at Leeds with me, Darren Barker. How are we, Darren? How Very well, thanks, mate. The sun's out. Yeah, it's come a out a little bit, hasn't it? show Saturday, so mm. yeah, I'm, uh, I'm buzzing, mate. I'm good. Obviously, we're here for the show Saturday. Josh Warrington yep. has his chance at revenge, Mauricio Lara. Um, was somewhat of an unknown quantity, weren't he? Let's be honest, when he first came over, no one knew much yep. about him. But these Mexicans seem to be turning up and upsetting the apple cart all the time, and that first fight was a shock to many, but obviously Josh gets a chance to, to redeem himself yeah. come Saturday, Darren. He does, um, and if he is to redeem himself and, and get his arm raised at the end of the night, he's going to have to remain extremely disciplined. Lara, like you say, not many people knew him, um, even within the game, but like a lot of these Mexicans that you point and pointed out, just they just have a knack of, do you know what I mean? Beating us, it, yeah. beating us. Well, not just us. You know, they're, they're exceptional fighters. They're warriors, and they, they, you know, they, they, they leave it all in the ring. That's that's the difference. Sometimes with other nations, other fighters, you can they, they can be a bit standoffish. They're a bit almost frightened of losing. Mm. And and when you're frightened of losing, you're scared of losing for whatever reason. Your undefeated record, this, that, whatever. It can stop you doing your thing because okay. you're worried about losing. They don't give a shit. They just let their hands go. Mm. They let their hands go and um, they, they do everything to win. Mm. They forget about the losing part. They do everything to win. And um, that's what Lara showed us. He do you just, think that's you just know, like the mentality of them yeah, and what yeah, they're about from, they're, they're, from early? Exactly, the Warriors mm. and, you know, their working class is a lot harder than our working class. So mm. it's a real opportunity I mean we see Giov uh, Giovanni Strafon versus yeah, Tennyson, uh, Tennyson. Yeah. what that meant to him you know I don't know if many know the backstory of, of Strafon but he's a real poor uh, individual that changed his life overnight and you see mm -hmm. the celebrations when he beats Tennyson that's the same with Lara and though they might not be the most uh, a lot a lot you know there's lots of Mexican fighters yeah, yeah. there's some exceptional fighters like the Canelo Barrera Morales and then you have the other lot that aren't as talented but they have that You've little got bit him, between yeah. their teeth and that's something Warren's going to have to, to come up against again so I think it's about not being greedy uh, for Warren almost fighting out of character because his character is to get in the face let his hands go in bunches and um, work away but I don't feel he can fight like that against Lara because he will get caught Fighting like he does, you're in range, so mm. he's going to have to be extremely sharp with his feet, his head, don't get greedy, ba ba bang, out, ba ba bang, back in, and try to not. I mean, the crowd are going to gonna help him, but yeah, for sure. I just hope that they don't G him up too much and he ends up getting stuck in again because I don't think it will do him any, any favours. He's got to be switched on up here. Do you think he will do that then on Saturday? Do you think he, he, so. he knows that he needs to maybe take a different approach and. You know, with so. them 19,000 lead fans who are mm. rowdy at the best of times, having them, yeah. you know, you land a good shot and, and, and you know, yeah, about it, you can get a bit eager and get a bit carried away. Yeah, I think he's got to remain disciplined, he has to, he's got to stay on point and, and the best word, don't get greedy, don't throw more than four shots. Bam, 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 bam. I, I remember when, when, when Bellew fought for the world title at Goodison and he got dropped in that first round and I remember seeing Dave Caldwell saying to him in the corner, don't, because obviously massive Evertonian in the atmosphere, he yeah. was saying, don't get greedy now because yeah. he caught him and yeah. he ended up getting put over. Yeah. Obviously, he ended up winning the fight, but it is easy, isn't it? I imagine, for, like for yourself, when you fought in front of your fans, you land a good shot and, yeah. and they all start going berserk. Yeah, exactly. you, you get carried away. You hear it in football, didn't you? The 12th man. They, mm. they, they, they lift you, they get you going, but sometimes in boxing, um, it can it can make you. It can be bite the downfall, down can't it, though, sometimes? It can make you bite down on your gum shield and, uh, and, and do what you shouldn't do. Um, it's funny because he buzzes off of that, and um, he, he can't afford to. He can't afford to do that. Uh, obviously, in, in in recent news, we've seen Sky Sports obviously announced their new thing with boxer and, and, and top rank. Yeah. What do you make of that, Darren? Great look uh, for a boxing fan. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. Um, look, the more options there are for the viewer to watch boxing then, then brilliant it's great 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 for boxing great for boxing great for the fans and the fighters and everyone involved yeah more opportunities yeah, for everybody yeah. uh, the last one Darren because I know you've got to shoot off um, just a quick this is not quick. me being rude by the way viewers no, I've got people not. over my shoulder going we got to go we got to go <laughs> no it's understandable look it's <laughs> nearly 5 o'clock we've been here all day mate but um, just last before you do have to go 
just give us a little rundown of the, of the show on Saturday Brilliant. night. Brilliant, like, we'll start at the main event, I think it's fantastic, uh, I really hope uh, Josh can do it, if he, if he is to do it, it's remaining disciplined. Uh, we'll go Katie Taylor, I think Katie Taylor, I think Han's been out of the ring too long, I don't think she's got the style she's going to opt to move, but I think Katie Taylor will walk for her. Uh, Giovanna, uh, Giovanna Strafon versus Maxi Hughes, a fantastic fight, I think it's a fight that steals the show for me. Mm. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and if I'm deadly honest, I'm deadly honest, I think Maxi Hughes has the style to be uh, Strafon. It's okay. a great fight. Uh, Conor Ben versus Granados. Uh, styles make fights. Uh, I think Granados has the correct style for Conor Ben. I think he's there to be hit. a bit loose. Uh, if Granados can find a sort of bonus type performance, it would be interesting. But I think Conor Ben's too fresh. Hits too hard for him, and I think he wins that one. Uh, who else we got? We've got uh, Ebony Bridges, Holby Emily Price. Bridges. Emily Bridges was brilliant last time out. Um, Things back on really really I didn't expect that. I thought the safe money last time was for Ebony on points, but she got the stoppage. Uh, uh, and I expect another dominant display uh, here with Enzo McNelly, which is a great person to have uh, in, in your corner. Um, Hopey Holby Price, Holby yeah. Price, Hussein likes to move a lot, can be slightly negative in some of the fights I've seen him against. And awkward I've, style, Annie. Awkward style, opposite fighting back foot, so I think we see Hopey Price be a bit more dominant this time, hold the centre ring and let his shots go look good against uh, uh, Grande last night. Mm. Uh, it was a good shot right at the end. Um, so, yeah, look. Stack show Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a br brilliant show, top to bottom. If you're a boxing fan, tune in because it's going to be a cracker. Thank you very much for your time, Bye. Adam. Appreciate that.